Yeah, we did that light. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, just gonna keep this in here. I'm on the right. Okay, good evening. Before we begin this evening's festivities, I'd like to acknowledge the traditional territory of the Suwassen and Musqueam First Nations and all the Coast Salish peoples who have been stewards of this land since time immemorial. My name is Colin Sharp and I'm fortunate enough to be one of the Vice Principals here at North Delta. Tonight I will be your Master of Ceremonies. On behalf of the administration, teachers, and support staff of North Delta Secondary School and the Delta School District, I'd like to welcome you to the Husky Gymnasium and North Delta Secondary School's 60th Annual Valedictory Celebration. Tonight's ceremony will begin with the processional and follow the orders outlined in your program. Tonight's ceremony will last approximately two hours. Many of you have cameras for photographing tonight's ceremony and you are permitted to photograph and record the proceedings from your seat. A photograph of each student will be taken on stage and in an in-studio setup at the back of the gym and all scholarship winners will receive a photo on stage with the scholarship presenter. These photographs will be taken by Artona Studios and will be given to each student as a memento of tonight's ceremony. We also have Steve Erickson webcasting this evening's ceremony and we'd also like to thank Potters for supplying tonight's lovely greenery. At this time, I would also like to ask that if you have an electronic device that you please turn off the ringer and please remain seated during the entrance of the class of 2017. Before we begin the ceremony, it is important to remember that the purpose of this evening, this is a formal event to recognize the hard work, commitment and determination of all the people who have shared the public education and personal growth of our graduates. The partners in this endeavor include the students themselves, but also the parents and the family, their teachers, their coaches and club sponsors, and the community as a whole. North Delta is well served by active and supportive service organizations and business partners, many of whom have contributed scholarships and bursaries that will be presented tonight as graduates cross the stage. We are very grateful for their support. Without further ado, I'd like to welcome the stars of our ceremony and the reason for us being here this evening. Mr. Bisson, Ms. Neymar, Ms. Dillon, and Mr. Lund will lead our processional. Ladies and gentlemen, North Delta Secondary School proudly presents the graduating class of 2017.
Thank you. At this time, I'd like to call upon Ms. Caitlin Marsh, one of our graduating students, to lead us in singing O Canada. Please stand and join us in our national anthem. Thank you. We have a full agenda this, this evening, but hope to proceed in a timely manner. Audience, students, even though we are gathered in the gym, this is not an occasion for hooting and hollering, but one to show honor and respect. As your friends, daughters, sons, and relatives cross the stage, please take some time to reflect on how much they have grown and how far they have come over the last five years. We also ask for your cooperation and being quiet as the acoustics in this room are not ideal. Parents, family, and friends are asked to stay seated for the entire ceremony. We are here to celebrate the accomplishments of all of our ND graduates, not only those of your own child or relative. So please do not leave partway through the ceremony. With everyone's cooperation, this evening will flow smoothly and quickly. Above all, we hope this milestone event is one you and your family will look back upon fondly. So let us begin. It is my pleasure at this time to call upon Mrs. Carla Rosardo, our principal, to make introductory address. Thank you, Mr. Sharp, and good evening, everyone. This is a very important day for each of North Delta Secondary's graduates and for their families and friends. Completing 12 years of school is a great accomplishment. This is a class to be proud of individually and as a group. They're confident, diverse, well-rounded, and are very accepting of each other's differences. Our grads of 2017 study, work, have started their own businesses, coach, volunteer, tutor, play team and individual sports, and many help out at home. Many of them are talented academically in the arts, in public speaking, athletics, and trades, to name just a few. Numerous, numerous students have completed work experience placements, dual credit trades programs, and our brand new justice certificate program. Over $200,000 worth of scholarships will be awarded this evening, and many graduates were recipients of awards for outstanding accomplishments at our athletics banquet and our service awards ceremony. We are so thankful to the scholarship donors who provide encouragement and financial support to our graduates with the hope that each of them will have opportunities to use their education, talents, and resources to do great things of value in the future. And thank you especially to the donors that have been come tonight in the front row to actually give your uh, scholarship in person. Thank you so much. Our graduates have been positive leaders in the school and in the community. I've particularly enjoyed working with the students on our grad council who worked collegially to make this year's grad events enjoyable and memorable. 
We hope our graduates continue to make a positive difference in their adult lives and that they continue to seek growth and accomplishment because the feeling of accomplishment is key to the feeling of well-being. Grads, until now, education has been planned for you. You generally knew what was going to be learned and how you'd be assessed. There will no longer be obje objectives written on a board to guide you. Most real life tests are unannounced. So continue to talk and listen to your parents. They've learned from their life experiences and will save you from making unnecessary mistakes and doing things the hard way. And these being your school for five years, and you're leaving at a better school. We hope that you'll return to visit or to help out and maybe even send your own children to ND one day. I wish you every success as tonight you leave behind a great school to embark on an exciting future. Expect great things, work hard to achieve your goals. Congratulations to each and every one of you and I hope you enjoy this evening's celebration. Thank you. Thank you, Mrs. Rosardo. I now call on school trustee chairperson, Ms. Laura Dixon, to bring us greetings from the board. Thank you. I am so pleased to be here this evening on behalf of the Delta Board of Education. It is truly a pleasure to share this accomplishment with all the graduates and their families here this evening. Tonight, we take the time to honor these graduates for their achievements and to let them know that we are truly proud of them at this important milestone. Parents, family, and faculty, please join me in a round of applause to congratulate the grads of 2017. <laughs> graduates, let's take a moment from your celebration this evening to recognize all of the adults in your life that have helped you to achieve this important milestone. Along the way, there have been special teachers, coaches, principals, community members, and of course, your family helping to guide you to this night. Grads, let's show your appreciation Husky style. Please stand and give a huge round of applause for all the help you've had to, in getting here tonight. Stand up and give applause and some thanks. Well done, you may be seated. Graduates, I want to speak to you a little bit about what comes next and how to achieve your full potential in your future. I want you to think about how you will choose to make use of the tools you have gained while at North Delta Secondary. Not all of the lessons you have had at North Delta have been learned in the classroom. Beyond the coursework, there have been so many opportunities to learn from teachers and coaches and one another in your athletics, theater, and all of the student extracurricular activities. These experiences offered lessons in character, motivation, and integrity. These are the qualities money cannot buy, but they are the attributes that will contribute more than you can imagine to your future success. I know that your time here has given you opportunities to challenge yourselves, and that each one of you will have some examples from your last five years to think about how to overcome obstacles, take risks, and ultimately achieve success. Keep those experiences in mind going forward as you form and pursue new goals. There might be some challenges and setbacks. In fact, I can guarantee there will be. But that's a good thing, because that's the place where you learn. Figuring out what doesn't work is sometimes the only way to get to what will work. It's often said that success is not final and failure is not fatal. It's the courage to continue that counts. So the key to your future success is perseverance, the motivation to learn from mistakes, to try again, and to keep your goals front and center will give each and every one of you the edge in life to surpass others. I'm so very lucky to be able to spend time with students from all over Delta. This generation is full of promise but there is something very special and unique about North Delta secondary students. In a meeting early in the year with students from every high school in Delta, North Delta students stood out in two very important ways. They talked about a very deliberate effort to reach out to one another to create caring school community, taking concrete action to build positive relationships among students of all ages. And the other reason North Delta secondary students stood out 
the pride and positivity in the way they talked about their school, their teachers, and fellow students. There is something I want to share with you. Before every graduation ceremony I attend, I spend time with the principals talking about the group that is about to walk across this stage. Your principals gave you the most resounding endorsement of good character and, and school citizenship that I have ever heard about a graduating class in the nine years I have had the privilege to be a school trustee. What the world needs now more than ever is caring citizens like all of you that aren't afraid to go out and make a difference. Let's give them a round of applause. You're going to be a tough act to follow, class of 2017. Thank you for the fine example you have set throughout your time here at North Delta Secondary for the students who follow in your footsteps. So I leave you with these final thoughts. Enjoy tonight as it is a time to pause and reflect on this success. And then my challenge to the graduates here tonight is that in whatever path you take, that you continue to find a way to make a difference. We all have a need of your talents, your energy, and your ideals. Graduates of 2017, we are so very proud of you. Congratulations. Thank you, Ms. Dixon. Bringing greetings and congratulations from the Delta School District is Assistant Superintendent Brad Bowman. Well, good evening, parents, staff, honored guests, and of course, the graduating class of 2017. It is my sincere pleasure and honor to address you tonight and to bring greetings and congratulations on behalf of our district leadership team. Tonight, we celebrate and acknowledge your hard work and accomplishments and the successful completion of your high school years. To the parents and family members here this evening, thank you for the unconditional love and support that you've provided to your children over the years. Also, thank, thank you for your partnership with the North Delta staff and for trusting us, the Delta School District, each day with the education of your child. To Ms. Rizzardo and all the teachers and support staff at North Delta, Thank you for your unwavering dedication, commitment to this impressive group of young people. Thank you for the guidance, encouragement, and caring you've provided while pushing them to be their best. And please remember how incredibly important your work is and the difference that you make in the lives of Delta students. Thank you for all you do. And to the graduates, congratulations on all your hard work, perseverance, and your accomplishments. As you go forward, remember the important lessons that you have learned in your high school years. These are the life lessons that reside in you. The important values such as self-respect, caring for others, acceptance, and serving your community. The values that have been taught and nurtured by your parents and your schooling are the foundation of who you are and who you will become as an adult. And no matter where you are in the process of designing your plans for the future, always be mindful that the world around us is constantly changing. The qualities that we as educators hope to nurture in you must allow you to thrive in our rapidly changing world. In the Delta School District's bold vision, it states that we strive to be a leading district for innovative teaching and learner success. To this end, we've committed to developing students who are able to learn and think both critically and creatively, listen to diverse points of view, and appreciate a broad range of perspectives. Students who are able to communicate ideas in thoughtful and respectful ways and work collaboratively within teams and groups. Students who are able to adapt and thrive on change, becoming motivated, flexible, and curious lifelong learners. Ultimately, we aim to develop active, healthy, and productive citizens that care deeply about our community, our country, and our world. Many of you here today exemplify these characteristics, and you should be very proud for all that you've achieved. Go confidently, graduates, in remembering that you have within you the strength, the patience, the courage to reach your goals and accomplish whatever you set out to do. It is a sincere pleasure to be here tonight and congratulate you on your graduation as from one Husky to another. I graduated from North Delta 30 years ago, so it's a real honor to be here. Congratulations on your graduation. Thank you, Mr. Bowman. 
The valedictorian is selected by a committee of staff and students and is a student in good standing academically, one who has made a significant contribution to the school and one who is a good citizen who has garnered the respect of both staff and students. It is my pleasure at this time to call on our valedictorian for this year, Ms. Vanessa Tufts, to make her address. Okay. Good evening and welcome, distinguished guests, Delta School District staff, scholarship and award donors, families, and the nannies and daddies who left their hot cha to come here tonight. And most importantly, thank you to the graduating class of 2017, also known as the biggest procrastinators ever. We somehow made it. I'd like to welcome you all to the last thing that is keeping you from graduating, the valedictorian speech. Now, I know most of you are yearning for a free summer, are stressed because you just handed in your grad trans, or in Jap Jot's case, maybe dreaming about another box of those Timbits from Christmas. <laughs> but you can't graduate until I finish, so sit back, relax, and let's go through the roller coaster ride that is high school. Five years ago, I walked into the school with many uncertainties, as most of you did. We wondered how we were going to survive the halls roaming with Regina George while trying to break out into another high school musical number and find our one true love. Well, none of that actually happened at North Delta, but even if we had to cope with what high school really was, we learned to love it. We learned to love the multiculturalism that surrounded every corner. We learned to love the teacher's never-ending support in and out of the classroom. And most importantly, we learned to love the cafeteria fries. It seems like just yesterday, we were back in grade eight, attempting to rip the locks off our lockers, closely trying to figure out where our next class was, and running out of the school in our annual smoke bomb barrage made by the grade 12s. Now, times have changed, and we are those grade 12s who rule the school, but proudly without the use of smoke bombs, if I do say so. It's at times like these that we can't help but look back at what has conspired. We've all been on this roller coaster ride since day one whether the beginning of this ride was the first day of grade eight or just earlier this year. We've been buckled in the roller coaster ride for approximately 255,000 minutes, and some of us still don't know the difference between effect and effect. Anyways, everyone here has felt the thrill of going up the first hill, pausing ever so slightly before we realized we are just about to descend. I think most of you can remember waiting to be the big kids of the school since grade eight. We wanted to reclaim the throne we had to leave the year prior. In grade eight, we tried to be cooler than we actually were, tried to sneak into the older students' friend groups, and eventually made the older grades, grades go crazy. Since that time, we've all grown closer and have been, and have had so many fond memories. Let's look back on some of the top memories we've been a part of. Number one, stinky hallways made by nasty science dissections. Number two, Unsuccessful attempts at digging 2017 into the hill, shortly followed by successful police escapes. <laughs> Number three, band practices where the food was banned, but the music was still out of tune. Number four, rewarding winter break drama rehearsals. How many ways can we say the lines for that bell? Number five, mysterious Spanish class tile strangely decorated with pens, Eric. <laughs> Number six, Sweaty hands sashing around the gym in another square dancing day. Number seven, befriending spark notes and cliff notes for those last minute English assignments. Number eight, rhinestone cowboy science classes. Number nine, hearing classes begin with, is this a drop-in center? Knowing the answer was no, but we still couldn't get to class on time. Finally, wrapping up our memories while asking, oh Romeo, where are you? Eventually, we tipped the major hill on the roller coaster, and as we did, we plummeted straight down. Indeed, we had many amazing memories, but we also faced heartbreaking moments. Last March, a tragedy occurred in which one of our fellow graduates, Indira Bassi, passed away suddenly. This 
This was one of the hardest things our grade faced because we lost a fellow friend and a young person with so much potential. Ender was a student loved by teachers, a friend people went to in times of need, and a brother and a son that will never be forgotten. I'd like to ask all of you to join me in a moment of silence in remembrance of Ender Mirabasi. Thank you. As Isabel Allende once said, there is no death. People only die when we forget them. If you can remember them, they will be with you always. Like with Ender, I know that he will never be forgotten in the hearts of anyone that has crossed his path. He was cherished by many, is remembered by many, and will forever be remembered with us, by us. Oh, thank you. <laughs> After this adversity, the roller coaster ride of high school started to pick up pace and we were thrown into the final hurrah, senior year. I'm guessing that most of my fellow graduates are both excited to be moving on to the next part of their lives, but also scared, sad, and reminiscent. Over the past five years, we've gone through so much, but it is precisely this that has brought us together. We've all changed and despite the millions of ups and downs, drama and fights, we're still here together. We were only at the Fairmont a few short weeks ago, and here we are, unified again. It took us so long to get to this point, and now it seems like it is all going away. After today, we'll have to start all over again in new places with new people. After today, our class will never be fully again, together again. Yes, the roller coaster ride of high school is screeching to a halt, but trust me, we know another ride waits for us just outside those gates. With everything we have faced and the relationships we have made, I can proudly say, as most of our teachers have already said, that the graduating class of 2017 is not only the last of the 90s, but the best of the 90s. Am I right? <laughs> now, before I move on to the last and final section of my speech, I want to give you all three pieces of advice I have learned during my time at North Delta. Firstly, as you go forward, you will inevitably face rejection, meet failure, and have setbacks. Indeed, all these will shake your world and perhaps make you lose hope, but there is benefit to them. J.K. Rowling uses a perfect analogy for my point. Think of a baby learning to walk. Do babies beat themselves up when they lose balance after taking a few steps? Of course not. Falling and losing balance is precisely how they learn to successfully walk. As Rowling says, success takes time to get to, and failure teaches us what we need to improve on. We will never live in a world where everything will be perfect, but it's how you handle these imperfections that will dictate your future. Secondly, starting next year, whether you're going to post-secondary, starting to work, or even traveling, your life and schedule is going to take a 180 degree flip. Everything you've come to know is going to change. There will be no one chasing you to get things done. Deadlines will be made and met by you and you alone, and you will have to choose between sleeping, studying, or having a social life. With these points combined and so much more that I can't even begin to touch on, your life may be and probably will be stressful to some extent. For this reason, please do rem remember to yes, work hard, but make time and give yourself time for you. Do the things you enjoy and try new stuff while working towards your future. Join your school student council. Get that tattoo you've always wanted. Travel to the country no one can pronounce the name of, and maybe take a risk and fight for a cause you're passionate about. These next few years are said to be some of the best you will ever experience. So don't put it all to waste and have a little fun. My final piece of advice comes from the showrunner Shauna Rhimes. All throughout high school, we've been told to follow our, to follow our dreams, work towards our dreams, and more dreams, dreams, dreams. We are told to dream and to not stop dreaming until they come true. Well, Ms. Rhymes presents a different view. A lot of people dream of doing amazing things, but while they're dreaming, the really happy people, the really successful people, the really interesting, engaged, powerful people are busy doing. Now, I'm not trying to tell everyone to stop dreaming, but instead of just hoping something will occur, work towards it. Dreams are lovely, but they are just dreams, fleeting and pretty. But dreams do not come true just because you dream them. It's hard work that makes things happen. It's hard work that creates change. Now to all of my peers. 
how will we measure our times at North Delta? Maybe it's measured through the games of hallway tag we would play. Maybe it's measured by the gallons of Slurpees we would buy at 7-Eleven. Or maybe we measured our time here with a tiring two laps we are forced to run in 30 degree heat. But lately, we started measuring our time left here in dates. Now, here we stand, or sit for most of you, at the end of our North Delta roller coaster ride. I know the way I have measured my time here will not be in minutes or hours, but in the memories of us. I will remember the people I've wholeheartedly gone to know and those I've just started to know this year. I will then remember the honor you have given me of representing you as valedictorian. You've made me see the possibility of having more than 200 different students come together and unify as one. As we leave high school today, do not leave with a sense of melancholy or distraughtness. Instead, remember, times may change, but we will always have the memories of each other for years to come. So my friends, go forward into your passion, your future with passion, and remember the words of Maya Anglo. People will forget what you said, people will forget what you did, but people will never forget how you made them feel. So feel proud for being a fellow Husky. Once a Husky, always a Husky. But really, what team? <laughs> Thank you and congratulations to the class of 2017. Thank you, Vanessa. You'll notice that Vanessa is wearing a gold cord with her gown. These honor cords are worn by students who have been on the principal's list every report card since grade eight. There are five graduates wearing these cords in tonight's ceremony, meaning that they achieved an average of over 90% on every report card since they began high school. An outstanding achievement. Students will now be presented with their school leaving certificates. Mr. Bisson and Ms. Dillon will be calling students alphabetically. Each graduate has prepared a short statement about their plans for the future. Listen to the students' comments, share their dreams, celebrate their individuality, and then acknowledge their spirits. Then keep listening. If a graduate has won a major award, scholarship, or bursary, they, uh, this will be described and presented as they receive their certificates. Ms. Peel, Ms. Kang, Ms. McFarlane, and Ms. Rolston will read these statements. Assistant Superintendent Mr. Bowman, Principal Mrs. Rosardo, Vice Principal Mr. Johnson, and myself will present each grad with their uh, certificate. Graduates, once you have received your certificate, please pause at center stage. There is a red X right on the carpet there, and you will have the picture taken by our photographer. After your picture has been taken, you will proceed down the red carpet and have your picture taken in the back studio. And then one of our volunteers will receipt you for the remainder of the ceremony. Award and scholarship winners, you are reminded to pause and smile at the camera with the person who is giving you the award on stage as well. Audience, please remain seated. And one final uh, note before we start, there are almost 200 students crossing the stage this evening. Despite your enthusiasm and pride, please hold your applause until everyone has crossed the stage so that we can hear and appreciate the dreams and accomplishments of all of our graduates. And move this evening along at a nice steady pace. If we applaud for each student, we will be here for a very long time. Please save your applause. We will give all the graduates a very wholehearted congratulations at the end. Mr. Bisson, would you please introduce the first graduate? Ryan Ali. Ryan would like to thank his family and friends for their support throughout high school. He hopes to achieve many great things in his life. Mr. Bowman. Cassandra Alfonso. Cassandra 
Jerome Aquino. Sorry. Sorry. Jerome wishes to thank his family and friends for always pushing him to succeed with his goals. Jerome has successfully completed the ACIP program in carpentry. And congratulations, Jerome. You need to come back, please. <laughs> Congratulations. You are receiving a $1,250 Ministry of Education Delta School District Scholarship for excellence in technical and trades training. Brenda Atwell. Brenda says thank you to his family and and his peers for five wonderful years at North Delta Secondary. Emmanuel Alvarez. Emmanuel would like to thank his beautiful mother for being the best mother. He would also like to thank his special girl for all her support and motivation. Jason Ajala. Jason would like to thank his family and friends for always believing in him. He is pursuing carpentry and has just finished his first apprenticeship. Jason has successfully completed the ACIP program in carpentry. Revan Aquino. Revan will be a great doctor who will make a significant contribution to society. He would like to thank his family for supporting him all these years. Miriam Awan. Miriam would like to thank her teachers, her friends, her family and God for their love and support. Next year, she will be attending UBC in the Faculty of Sciences. She wishes to congratulate the grads of 2017. Miriam, we'd like to congratulate you as well. She's receiving the Webster Family Muriel Webster Memorial Scholarship and a $1,250 Ministry of Education Delta School District Scholarship for Excellence in Fine Arts. Well done, Miriam. Monique Atwell. Monique will attend post-secondary in the fall and pursue a career in health sciences. She would like to thank her family for all their motivation and guidance over the years and looks forward to beginning the next chapter of her life. Charndeep Baines. Mr. Baines' future plans is to pursue a, a successful career in carpentry. He would like to thank his family and close friends for supporting him throughout high school. Charndeep has successfully completed the ACIP program in carpentry. Karnbeer Olick. Karnbeer plans to graduate from UBC with a degree in finance. Govind Bajwa. Govind would like to sincerely thank his teachers for recognizing his abilities and for being flexible so he could somehow manage to make it to this stage. Tarnvir Baya. Tarnvir is successful today because of his parents. Kieran Bangar. Kieran is planning to attend UBC to pursue a Bachelor of Science. She hopes to live her dreams and make her family proud. Congratulations, Kieran. You're receiving the Association of Delta School Administrators Scholarship and a $2,000 Indo-Canadian Business Association Achievement Scholarship. Jazdeep Beans. Jazdeep would like to thank his family for supporting him throughout the years. He will be pursuing his dreams of going to KPU to complete a degree in business. Amritha Bassi. Amritha plans on attending KPU, getting a business degree, and becoming a successful businesswoman. Monisha Bamra. Monisha plans on attending KPU in September to study health science. She hopes to one day become a dental assistant. 
Manisha Batra. Manisha plans to pursue a Bachelor of Science degree at the University of British Columbia. She would like to thank her parents and grandparents for always loving and supporting her. Manisha is a Schulich Leaders School nominee for 2017 and the recipient of several awards this evening. She is receiving the North Delta Senior Girls Bangda Team Award. Also, the Randy Mann Home Time Hero Award. A $1,000 North Delta Lions Club bursary. A $1,000 Sheila Graswick Memorial Scholarship. <laughs> A $1,250 BC Ministry of Education Delta School District Scholarship for Excellence in Community <laughs> Service. $2,000 Indo-Canadian Business Association Achievement Scholarship. Congratulations, Manisha. Madison Barber. Madison would like to say a huge thank you to her family and friends for putting up with her for all these years. She couldn't have done it without you. Baldi Bangu. Baldeep would like to thank her family and friends for their support all these years. Her future plans are to attend SFU for a degree in health sciences. Congratulations, Baldeep. You are receiving the North Delta Senior Girls Bhangra Team Award. <laughs> Gary Basra. Gary plans on attending University for Business Studies and continuing his career as an entrepreneur. Bebek Batty. Bebek would like to thank all his family and friends for supporting him through this journey. It hasn't been the e easiest road, but we're finally here. In the future, Bebek wants to become a police officer and make the streets a safer place. <laughs> Faisal Bayani. Faisal would like to say thank you to all his friends and family and wishes them all the best of luck in the years to come. Ravdeep Binapal. Ravdeep would like to thank her family for their support. Manisha Pangu. Manisha would like to say thank you to everyone who has supported her in the last five years, especially her mom and dad. She wishes everyone luck in their lives while she starts UBC this September. Congratulations, Manisha. You have received the Canadian Federation of University Women Sylvia Johannesson Memorial Bursary, the Sangara Family Awards Channon K. Sangara Memorial Scholarship, a $1,250 Ministry of Education, Delta School District Scholarship for Excellence in International Languages. And a $3,500 University of British Columbia TUM Experiential Award Scholarship. 
Sahil Brar. Sahil plans to complete a degree in health sciences and hopes to one day become a physiotherapist. Congratulations, Sahil. You are receiving the Big, Kah Big Kahuna Sports Dennis Laliva Memorial Scholarship. Tanvir Buller. Tanvir will continue to strive to become one of the top astrophysicists in the country. <laughs> Congratulations, Tanvir. You are receiving the Delta Firefighters Charitable Society Award. <laughs> Stephen Camayo. Stephen dreams of becoming an arch architect and traveling the world. Ten years from now, he sees himself watching his own buildings under construction while the engineers blankly stare at him. <laughs> Jaslyn Bratch. Jaslyn will be attending post-secondary in the fall and pursuing a career in teaching. She would like to thank her family and friends for their support. Indervir Chahal. Indivir is heading off to post-secondary to pursue his dreams and is determined to achieve success. He thanks his family and friends for helping him reach this moment, as it would not have been possible without them. Megan Buentipo. Megan would like to give a special thank you to those who have supported her. She will not disappoint you as she becomes a great illustrator in the near future. Gurkira Dale. Gurkirat would like to thank his family and Mr. Sharp for supporting him through these five years. <laughs> Laren Canopy. Laren would like to thank his mom, dad, sisters, Leanna and Larissa, his Auntie Arlene, and his friends for shaping him into the man he is today. He is going to go the distance by studying at SFU and making everyone proud. He loves you all. Congratulations. You have received the Future Yearbook Scholarship. And a $1,250 Delta School District Scholarship for Excellence in Fine Arts. Pavni Dhaliwal. Pavneet would like to thank her family and her friends for all their love and support and for making her high school experience worthwhile. Alejandro Cruz Escobar. <laughs> Alejandro would like to thank all those who supported him. He wants to succeed in the future and live life to its fullest. Jazkarn Danoa. Jazz Karn would like to thank his family for all their support during the last five years of high school. Jalisa De Los Santos. Jalisa will be pursuing her 10-year dream of becoming a teacher and finding the secret to happiness. She thanks her mom, dad, and Ate for always ensuring her success in school. Congratulations, Jalisa. You're receiving the Artona Group Scholarship. The Future Yearbook Scholarship. And a $1,250 Ministry of Education, Delta School District Scholarship in Excellence in Community Servants. Jazdeep Dillon. Jazdeep is looking forward to whatever the future may hold. Harmon Thami. In the future, Harmon plans to complete post-secondary with a strong GPA and find a job that will help him support his family. Pavan Paul Dillon. Pavan Paul will pursue an arts degree at UBC. He wants to thank his family for all their support. We would also congratulate Pavan Paul this evening. He is the recipient of the Delta Scottsdale Lions Community Service Award.
Donish Dillon. Donish would like to thank his family, friends, and teachers for supporting him in all these years. They made him who he is today. Sophia Doe. Sophia would like to thank her family, her friends, and her teachers for their support. She hopes to become an interior designer in the near future. Palvi Dillon. Palvi would like to thank her family for their endless love and support. She will be attending UBC next year. Congratulations, Palvi. You are receiving the AMC Insurance Scholarship. Alexandria Donald. Alexandria wishes to thank everyone who helped her get through this year, especially Savannah. She appreciates all the support she has received. Archpreet Dinsa. Archpreet plans on studying biology and accomplishing all the goals that are set for the future with a positive attitude and a determined mind. Michaela Evans. <laughs> Michaela would like to thank her family and her friends for the love and support throughout this chapter in her life. She could not have done it without all of you. Oh, I'm so sorry. Powan Dodd. Powan would like to give a special thanks to his family and friends for helping him through high school. He will be studying business in post-secondary. Abiha Fatima. Abiha plans to attend KPU in the fall and pursue a degree in accounting. Amit Elliott. Amit would like to say, ND made me think I can do what I thought was impossible. Emmett has successfully completed the ACIT program in auto refinishing prep and is receiving a Delta Youth Support Link bursary. Congratulations, Emmett. Anthony Flett. Anthony's future plans include going to BCIT for broadcasting and technology, followed by a stint at BCC for culinary arts. Anthony leaves us with a quotation of the day. Move over coffee. It's a day for champagne. <laughs> Lensa Fantu. Lensa will be pursuing sciences at UBC and thanks her parents for their immense support. Lensa is receiving the Kennedy Community Hall May Vaughan Memorial Scholarship. Ken Gagajena. Ken plans on going into policing and wishes to say, Dad, thank you for everything. I couldn't have asked for a better dad. Tita, thank you for showing me what having a mom is like. And Kate, thank you for always being by my side. Just before you go, Ken, we'd like to congratulate you for successfully completing North Delta Secondary's Justice Study Certificate Program. Congratulations. Roxelle Fernando. In the future, Roxel hopes he can be successful and thanks everyone for helping him out on everything. Alex Gao. Yifan is looking forward to his future. Jared Forbes. Jared is planning on becoming a software engineer and would like to thank ND teachers for their support. Jared is receiving a North Delta Parent Advisory Council Award. And before you walk away, uh, a $1,250 Ministry of Education Delta School District Scholarship for Excellence in Applied Design, Skills and Technology. Opkar Gadu. Opcar is planning to go to SFU for computer science and would like to thank his family for their support. Sawin Gahir. 
Sawan plans on attending university and taking life one step at a time. This evening, Sawan is receiving a $1,250 Ministry of Education Delta School District Scholarship for Excellence in Physical Activity. Congratulations. Gurkirit Gill. Mr. Gill plans on pursuing a career in business and would like to thank his family for all their love and support. Colin Gardner. Colin will be pursuing the life of a fantasy author alongside a career in chemistry starting at SFU. This evening, Colin is receiving a Delta Youth Support Link bursary. Ravjot Gill. Ravjot thanks her family for supporting and believing in her. She plans to make her family proud, especially her sister Ashman, by continuing to work hard and by spreading kindness. We congratulate Ravjot this evening. She's the recipient of the Delta Youth Support Link Bursary. Arshdeep Gill. Arshdeep is planning to attend the UBC Souter School of Business and would like to thank his parents for their support. This evening, we're pleased to present Arshdeep with the North Delta Minor Hockey Association Award. Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> and the M&M Food Market North Delta Scholarship. Ravenel Gounder. Ravenel would like to thank his friends and his family for helping him get here and always supporting him. He also gives a big shout out to Mr. Odin and Mr. B for inspiring him to become a carpenter, following his brother's footsteps in choosing to chase happiness instead of money. We congratulate Ravenel this evening. He has successfully completed the ACET program in carpentry, and he is the recipient of a $1,250 Ministry of Education Delta School District Scholarship for Excellence in Technical and Trades Training. Pernit Gill. Pernit would like to thank her parents who helped her to get here. Jazz Karn Graywall. Jazz Karn would like to thank his friends and his family for helping him get through the last five years. He plans on obtaining a business degree from Simon Fraser University. Simrit Paul Gosal. Simrit Paul would like to thank his friends and family. He appreciates them being there for him throughout his life. He looks forward to accomplishing great things. Pavwan Graywall. Pavwan plans to be the first successful transfer student from KPU to Harvard University. <laughs> Gershant Gurwal. Gershant plans on pursuing a career in computer science. He wishes his fellow graduates the best of luck. Jap Jot Garaya. Jap Jot. Jap Jot will continue his education at BCIT and would like to thank his family and his friends for all their support. Kanwar Gurwal. Kanwar would like to thank his family and friends for their support. As well, he'd like to thank his wonderful teachers. He knows he will succeed because of all of their help. Simrit Hundle. Simrit plans to attend UBC to pursue a degree in business. She would like to thank her family and friends for their support. Congratulations, Simrit. You have won several awards this evening. We'll begin with a Ravi Kalon North Delta Community Scholarship. The Artona Group Incorporated Scholarship. The Ludwar Family, Maline Ludwar Memorial Award. The North Delta Secondary Staff Exceptional Students Scholarship. The
the North Delta Secondary Student Council Award. <laughs> a $1,250 BC Ministry of Education Delta School District Scholarship for Excellence in Community Service, and a $5,000 Simon Fraser University Academic Excellence Entrance Scholarship, and a $5,000 BC Ministry of Education BC Excellence Scholarship. Well done, Simic. Congratulations. Aditya Gupta. Aditya would like to say thank you to his family and friends for supporting him through high school. He hopes to achieve many great things in life. Jazz Jonagal. Years from now, you will see Jazz Pre driving his way to the top of the auto industry. The best is yet to come. Alice Huang. In the future, every popular video game you play may be from Alice's studio. <laughs> Avneet Johal. In the future, Avneet wishes to experience new things, to pursue a career in optometry, and to make her family proud. Congratulations, Avneet. You are receiving the Rollins Family Evan Rollins Memorial Scholarship. The Rotary Club of North Delta Scholarship. And, oh, sorry, Avneet, where'd you go? We're not done. And a $1,250 BC Ministry of Education Delta School District Scholarship for Excellence in Applied Design, Skills, and Technology. Congratulations. Shazeb Hussein. Shazeb would like to thank his friends and family for their help. Harpinder Kainth. Harpinder plans to pursue a Bachelor of Science in Nursing and make her hero, her mother, proud. Congratulations, Harpinder. You are receiving the Delta Youth Support Link Bursary. Saya Broop Jitana. Saya Broop's future plan is to become successful and support his family. A.J. Calcat. A.J. would like to thank his family and friends for supporting him for the past five years. He plans on going to a post-secondary institution to pursue a career in business. Karmvir Kayla. Karmvir's future plans include working hard and supporting his family. Amit Kalodi. Amit would like to thank his family for supporting him through ND. He's going to pursue his career as a heavy duty mechanic at Vancouver Community College. Congratulations for successfully completing the North Delta Secondary's Justice St Studies Certificate Program. Jasmine Kant. Jasmine would like to thank her family and friends for their unconditional love and support. She plans on going wherever life takes her. Aditi Kapil. Aditi will pursue a degree at UBC and dearly thanks her family. She will live each day striving for happiness and personal growth. As Charlie Chaplin said, a day without laughter is a day wasted. Congratulations, Aditi. You are receiving several awards this evening. Uh, we'll begin with a 2017 Lawrence Scholars Foundation semifinalist award. She is also receiving the Future Book Yearbook Scholarship. The Webster Family Award, Kenneth Jeffers Memorial Scholarship. In 
a $1,250 BC Ministry of Education Delta School District Scholarship for Excellence in Community Service. She's also received a $1,500 University of Waterloo Merit Scholarship and a $5,000 University of Waterloo Faculty Environment Entrance Scholarship. Well done, Aditi. Hargervier Calcap. Hargervier would like to thank his parents and his sister for helping him throughout these years and always putting up with him. Amni Kara. Amni would like to thank her friends and family for supporting her and her teachers for guiding her. She will be continuing her studies next year at UBC. Mampri Kandola. Manpreet says, today is the day I graduate, but today is also the day you graduate from taking care of me. Muhammad Khan. Muhammad would like to thank his parents and friends who have support him, supported him throughout his life, especially his mom. She's always been there to help him with everything. Mohammed plans to go to UBC for a Bachelor of Science. Congratulations, Mohammed. You are receiving the North Delta Newcomers Sally McDonald Memorial Scholarship. <laughs> and a 1,250 BC Ministry of Education Delta School District Scholarship for Excellence in Physical Activity. <laughs> Raina Karin. Raina would like to thank her mama and papa for getting her through high school and preparing her for the real world. She appreciates everyone who has left a smile on her face. Arjun Karpal. Arjun wants to say thanks to everyone who wanted him to succeed and says congratulations to all the graduates of 2017. Izmir Khan. Izmir is attending SFU in the fall to pursue a career in either medicine or genetics. He wishes his classmates the best of luck in the future. Congratulations, Izmir. You're receiving the Kennedy Community Hall Winifred McLeod Memorial Scholarship. Jasmine Cooner. Jasmine would like to thank her family and friends for supporting her throughout high school in particular to her mom, for always supporting her decisions and her career choices. Congratulations, Jasmine, for successfully completing the North Delta Secondary's Justice Studies Certificate Program. Sukhpreet Kayla. Sukhpreet would like to thank her parents for keeping her grounded and always supporting her. She's going on to pursue her dreams. Mark Anthony Lumbiao. Mark Anthony gives a shout out to his homies who stuck with, uh, with him throughout, this, throughout his years in high school. And most importantly, a shout out to his parents for always supporting him. Cody Naxted. Cody plans to attend Douglas College next year. Alyssa Manzik Power. Roses are red, violets are blue. I'm graduating, and so are you. Jasleen Lodra. Jasleen would like to thank her family and friends for their love and support. She will attend SFU next year. Congratulations, Jasleen. You are receiving a $1,000 Kakun Family Award and the Harwinder Memorial Scholarship. Caitlin Marsh. Caitlin says thanks to everyone who made high school as great as it was. Caitlin has successfully completed the Professional Cook One ACIP program. And this evening, she is receiving the Kelly Family Shona Kelly Memorial Scholarship.
the Delta Teachers Association Bursary, and a $1,250 BC Ministry of Education Delta School District Scholarship for Excellence in Fine Arts. Well done, Caitlin. Renato Lungu. Renato would like to thank his family and friends for all their support throughout high school. He will be studying computer science next year. Ria Memi. Ria would like to thank her family for dealing with her and supporting her. Ria will be continuing her studies in the field of sciences. Mika Abigail Marine. Mika would like to say to her parents, excelling academically is the sole way to repay you for everything. It is now my goal to work to a place where you can be proud of me. Congratulations, Mika. You are receiving the Colin G. Vint Memorial Scholarship. and a $1,250 Ministry of Education Delta School District Scholarship for Excellence in Fine Arts. Gurjot Minhas. Gurjot would like to thank her family for helping her get through high school and for their guidance with whatever the future may hold. We'd like to congratulate her this evening. She is also the recipient of the Sahara Wellness Society Scholarship. Kimberly Mikame. Kimberly would like to thank her family, friends, and teachers for making sure she walked across this stage. Sandeep Minhas. Sandeep plans to pursue a career in nursing. She would like to thank her family and her friends for supporting her through this journey. Jessica Minhas. Jessica would like to thank everyone who has believed in her and supported her through this journey. Nitin Mumadi. Nitin would like to thank everyone for supporting him in his efforts to reach the goal of becoming a police officer. Parni Mukher. Parneet would like to thank her family and friends for supporting her through this journey. She will be attending post-secondary and is looking forward to the future. Congratulations, Parneet. You are receiving the North Delta Secondary Husky Wear Award. And a $1,250 Ministry of Education Delta School District Scholarship for Excellence in International Languages. Komal Narayan. Komal will be pursuing a career in nursing. Pratika Nair. Pratika says, thank you to my friends and family for supporting me throughout this journey. Tarandeep Nat. Terendeep will attend SFU in the fall and then hopes to go on to medical school. Amandeep Nat. Amandeep plans on studying engineering at UBC. He would like to thank his friends and family for their support. Amandeep has received a $5,000 Simon Fraser University Academic Excellence Entrance Scholarship. A.J. Nijar. A.J. wants to pursue a career in computer sciences. <laughs> Taryn Preet Nat. Taryn Preet intends to study software engineering at SFU. He'd like to thank his family and friends for their support. Jaskeet Nijar. Jazz Keat will attend post-secondary and specialize in health sciences. She would like to thank her family and her friends for their continued support. 
Amarpreet Nidjer. Amarpreet is going to UBC for applied science and is aspiring to become a medical engineer. He would like to thank his family and friends for their support on this journey. Congratulations, you have received the Sangara Family Charon S. Sangara Memorial Scholarship. Harjas Parmar. Harjas is very driven to achieve his goals and will definitely be successful in whatever path he takes. Bria Parhar. In the future, Bria will attend UBC and pursue a career in teaching. She wants to live life to the fullest and make her family proud. Congratulations, Bria. You have received the Magnet Family Rita Magnet Memorial Scholarship. And the Webster Family Award. Rhoda Jeffers Memorial Scholarship. And a $1,250 Ministry of Education Delta School District Scholarship for Excellence in Community Service. Ahmed Parvez. Ahmed will become a world-class architect, even better than Stephen. Lakes are round, but pi are squared. Chai and samosas are forever, and life's just too abbreviated to have a crappy vocabulary. Au revoir. Jasleen Parmar. Jasleen is going on to pursue a Bachelor of Science degree at UBC. She would like to thank her family for their support. Samson Peepchuk. Samson would love to thank the teachers who have helped him and pushed him to graduate. Amin Paul. Amin says, thanks to all my friends and family for supporting me through these years. Komal Jeet Pruti. Komal will pursue a nursing degree at KPU and wishes to thank her mom for being so supportive. Chantelle Prasad. Chantelle would like to thank her family and friends for their loving support over the past 13 years. She looks forward to attending post-secondary school. Johara Raphael. Johara wishes to thank family, close friends, and teachers for their support on her journey to walk across the stage. And lastly, if you're a Filipino parent, I'm sure you're thinking, she should take nursing. <laughs> Sahib Jeet Pruthi. Sahib is going on to pursue a post-secondary degree and would like to thank her friends and family for their support. Congratulations, you have received the Charlene Rivalry Children's Charity Scholarship. Manpreet Rai. Manpreet is looking forward to whatever the future may hold for him. Anusha Rahman. Yes! Anusha would like to thank her family and friends for being there every single step of the way. She dreams of studying political science at USFU. Amrit Randawa. Amrit will be attending post-secondary to pursue a career in criminology. She would like to thank her family and her friends for making these five years so memorable. Congratulations for successfully completing North Delta Secondary's Justice Studies Certificate Program. Talwinder Rai. Talwinder would like to thank his parents and friends for supporting him through the five years at ND. He will be pursuing a career in law enforcement. Congratulations for successfully completing North Delta Secondary's Justice Studies Certificate Program. Krista Rennie. Krista would like to say congratulations to all of the grads of 2017. And we congratulate Krista this evening. She is the recipient of a $1,250 Ministry of Education Delta School District Scholarship for Excellence in International Languages. 
Jawad Raza. Jawad would like to thank his parents for putting up with him for all these years and his teachers for letting him hand in late assignments. He plans to go to SFU's BD School of Business next year. AJ Sahoda. In the future, AJ sees himself in law enforcement, trying to make a positive difference in his community. Louis Rososo Jr. Louis writes, Dear family and friends, I love you all. P.S. This one is for you guys. P.P.S. Ma might have left the stove on. P.P.P.S. What's that? Running out of... Congratulations, you have received the North Delta Secondary Husky Pride Award. And a $1,250 Ministry of Education Delta School District Scholarship for Excellence in Fine Arts. Harman Sahoda. Harman wishes to thank his parents for supporting him. He will be attending a post-secondary institution this fall. Gurjeet Sahoda. In the future, Gurjeet sees himself in law enforcement, trying to make a positive difference in his community. Jasleen Sahoda. Jasleen would like to thank her friends and her family, and she looks forward to attending Simon Fraser University in the fall. We congratulate Jasleen this evening. She is the recipient of a $5,000 Simon Fraser University Academic Excellence Entrance Scholarship. Jasleen Sahoda. Jasleen's plans are to attend post-secondary and have a good time. Samit Sahoda. Samit is going into environmental studies at SFU in the fall and aspires to keep a positive attitude throughout life. Verinder Sani. Verinder wants to thank his friends and family for being there for him throughout his high school years. He looks forward to his new experiences at SFU. Jessica Sale. Jessica plans on attending Simon Fraser University to become a trauma counselor. She would like to thank the teachers who helped her plan her future and her family who encouraged her to follow that plan, even if she changed her mind a million times. Just come back here for a minute, please, Jessica. Thank you. Firstly, we congratulate Jessica for successfully completing North Delta Secondary's Justice Studies Certificate Program, and she is the recipient this evening of the Canuel Caterers and Vendmaster Award. Amrita Samra. Amrita appreciates her family's unwavering support and the guidance from all her teachers over the years. She plans to attend university and to attain a degree in veterinary medicine. Harman Samra. Harman is planning to pursue a degree in criminology and become a Canada Border Services Officer. He would like to thank his family for their support. And just a reminder before he goes to the audience, hit up One Stop Car Care for all your car care needs. Colin Sanderson. Colin is planning to attend KPU and become an accountant. Ravneet Sandar. Ravneet is, is excited to attend a post-secondary school and to play college soccer. She, she says thank you to all her friends, family, and teachers for their endless support and wishes to congratulate the, grad, the grads of 2017. Ravneet, this evening you are receiving the Laura Zendry Memorial Scholarship. <laughs> The Big Kahuna Sports Dennis Laliev Memorial Scholarship. And a $1,250 BC Ministry of Education Delta School District Scholarship for Excellence in Physical Activity. Armand Sandu. 
Armand wants to be consistent in his efforts and have patience for whatever he does in the future. Harleen Sandu. Harleen would like to thank, to thank her parents for their support. She plans on pursuing a nursing degree at KPU. Maytab Sandu. Maytab is attending SFU to study sciences. He would like to thank his family and friends for all their support. Ronica Sandu. Ronica wants to thank her parents for, her, for their support. She plans to pursue a post-secondary degree at KPU. Congratulations for successfully completing the North Delta Secondary Justice Studies Certificate Program. Gersher Sanga. Gersher hopes to go to BCIT to become a heavy duty mechanic. He thanks his family for their support. Parveen Sanga. Parveen wants to thank her friends and family for their genuine support to help her achieve success. Remy Sangi. Remy will be attending UBC next year. In the future, she hopes to prevent the violation of human rights around the globe. Harmon Sangra. Harmon wants to thank her mom and dad for always supporting her. She plans to attend a post-secondary school in the fall and hopes to make her parents proud. Congratulations for successfully completing North Delta Secondary's Justice Studies Certificate Program. And if you would please return to the stage, Harmon. You are also receiving the, the Mrs. S. Batra Memorial Scholarship. Puneet Sekhan. Puneet will be attending post-secondary. Gil Serrano. Gil would like to thank his parents for sticking with him, as well as his teachers who passed him. He vows to push himself to be successful in whatever career he chooses. Puneet Sharma. Oh yeah, Puneet Sharma. Puneet will be pursuing a career in computer science and wishes the best for his fellow grads. Haven Short. Haven offers a quotation from Robert Orban. A graduation ceremony is an event where the commencement speaker tells hundreds of students dressed in identical caps and gowns that individuality is the key to success. Isaiah Sedal. Isaiah would like to thank his mama, for without her, he wouldn't have graduated. He's planning on working in the automotive industry and furthering his community through service. Aksh Sedu. Aksh would like to thank her friends and family for their support through high school. In the fall, she's going to continue her studies at SFU. Ramneet Sedu. Ramneet plans on attending university and hopes to become a businesswoman. Arshdeep Singh. Arshdeep wants to thank his parents and his friends for their support and love and wishes the best of luck to all the grads of 2017. Gurpreet Singh. Gurpreet is going to study chemical engineering and do his master's in engineering. Ranbir Singh. Ranbir plans to go to SFU to study health sciences. Congratulations, Ranbir. You are receiving the Mabel Reed Scholarship Award. <laughs> Ranbir also has a $5,000 Simon Fraser University Academic Excellence Entrance Scholarship. Congratulations. <laughs> Jess Sohi. 
Jess would like to thank her family and friends. She plans to graduate from SFU with a degree in business. <coughs> Congratulations, Jess. You are receiving the $2,000 Spencer Creo Foundation Darlene Spencer Memorial Scholarship. Parvin Sohal. Parvin would like to thank his parents and his friends for their continued support. He is planning to pursue a degree in criminology at SFU. Parvin has successfully completed the North Delta Secondary's Justice Studies Certificate Program. Ryan Stanford. <laughs> Ryan thanks his mom and dad for supporting and loving him and never giving up on him. He would like to be remembered as a good student but a better friend. Congratulations, Ryan. You are receiving the QP Local 1091 Scholarship. Heather Squelch. Heather is looking forward to the future. Heather has successfully completed both the ACIP program in Professional Cook 1 and the School Apprenticeship program. Tonight, she is also receiving the North Delta Secondary Home Economics Award. and a $1,250 BC Ministry of Education Delta School District Scholarship for Excellence in Technology and Trades Training. Well done, Heather. Ais Amido. Ais would like to thank her family, especially her mom, for being her cheerleader. She will be going to KPU to further her studies in computer science. Congratulations, Ais. You're receiving the Team Cloud Scholarship Award, Remax Performance Realty. Shailen Stewart. Shailen wishes to thank the internet, Wikipedia, Siri, and especially Google for helping her find almost all the answers she needed. She also wishes to congratulate, she wishes congratulations and good luck to the future, in the future. She's also, Shailen, sorry. Shailen, you are also receiving the Delta Youth Support Link Bursary. Julie Takla. Julie plans to continue her education studying health sciences, becoming a dietitian one day. Congrats to the grads of 2017. And congratulations to Julie for receiving the AMC Insurance Scholarship. Taylor Sutton. Taylor plans to attend Douglas College and transfer to SFU to pursue an arts degree. She would like to thank her family and friends for supporting her choices. Taylor, you are receiving several awards tonight, so please stay on the stage. <laughs> we'll begin with the Sunshine Hills Tennis Club and North Delta Secondary Award. The Big Kahuna Sports Stephen Wawel Memorial Scholarship. The Delta Assist Family and Community Service Scholarship. <laughs> Jennifer's Catering Success Scholarship. <laughs> Delta Fast, Bit Fast Pitch Association Scholarship. Bowl BC, Bowl BC Scholarship. <laughs> and a $1,250 BC Ministry of Education Delta School District Scholarship for Excellence in International Languages. Congratulations, Taylor. Eric Turwheel. Yeah. Eric plans to study software engineering at the University of Waterloo and would like to thank his friends and family for their support. Congratulations, Eric. You have been awarded a $2,000 University of Waterloo President's Scholarship of Distinction and a $5,000 Simon Fraser University Academic Excellence Entrance Scholarship. 
Simran Tatla. Simran thanks her family for being so supportive, and she cannot wait to attend KPU for a degree in criminology. Taryn Jote Thind. Taryn Jote would like to thank her family for pushing her to be the best version of herself. She plans to make a positive contribution to the world. Loveleen Thind. Loveleen would like to thank her friends and family for all their support. She will be studying at KPU in the fall. We'd like to congratulate Loveleen on receiving the following this evening. Firstly, congratulations for successfully completing North Delta Secondary's Justice Study Certificate Program. She is also receiving a Sahara Wellness Society Scholarship and a $2,000 Spencer Creo Foundation Darlene Spencer Memorial Scholarship. Congratulations, Loveline. Ben Tom. Ben plans to be a software engineer. Anna Tom. Anna will pursue a Bachelor of Science in Nursing and become a registered nurse. Rosario Trejo Carrillo. Rosario would like to thank her grandparents and uncle for always being her moral support. She hopes to become an environmental engineer. Congratulations, Rosario, for successfully completing North Delta Secondary's Justice Studies Certificate Program. Carmdeep Tour. Carmdeep plans to study in the field of health sciences at KPU. He thanks his family and his friends for all their support over the years and wishes congratulations to his fellow graduates of 2017. Carmdeep is the recipient this evening of a $2,500 Coast Capital Savings Standing Tall Award. Congratulations, Carmdeep. Nisha Tung. Nisha wants to thank her family and friends for putting up with her for the past 13 years. She will attend post-secondary in September. Vanessa Tufts. <laughs> Vanessa plans to become an elementary school teacher, and she would like to thank her parents, her home girl Yoshi and Timmy's, for giving her reasons not to fall asleep. So your valedictorian has won several awards this evening, so if you'll just stand there for several minutes, we will congratulate you on the following. Firstly, Vanessa successfully completed North Delta Secondary's Justice Study Certificate Program, and as this year, in its inaugural year as a program at North Delta, she is the recipient of North Delta Secondary Justice Studies Medal of Distinction. In addition, she is receiving the Harrison Company Award. The Goel Foundation Multicultural Award. Congratulations on receiving the Rotary Club of North Delta Scholarship. The North Delta Secondary Staff Exceptional Student Scholarship. A $1,000 Delta Community Foundation Bursary. A $1,000 Delta Retired Teachers Association Scholarship. $2,000 Loud and Pride Society Scholarship. <laughs> A $5,000 Ministry of Education Pathway to Teacher Education Scholarship. <laughs> and Vanessa is the recipient of the Smolik Foundation Scholarship of $35,000. Congratulations.
Sharon Uppel. Sharon will attend post-secondary to pursue a career in the medical field. Iqbal Uppel. Iqbal is going to pursue a career in criminology, but if that doesn't work out, you'll just see him balling. <laughs> Congratulations, Iqbal, for successfully completing North Delta Secondary's Justice Studies Certificate Program. Tomina Vastev. Tomina will attend post-secondary to pursue a career as a veterinary assist, sorry, a veterinary technician. Kanika Vastev. Kanika will attend post-secondary to pursue a career in criminology. Simrit Virk. Simrit will be attending a post-secondary to continue her studies in science. Tarun Verma. Tarun plans on attending university and taking life one step at a time. Ming Yang Zhang. Angela would like to thank her parents for always being there and supporting her. And we congratulate Angela this evening. She is receiving the Delta School District Outstanding International Student Award. Congratulations. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Please join me again in congratulating the graduating class of 2017. At this time, I'd like to thank individuals who have made tonight's ceremony possible. Special thanks to the school's administrative, teaching, secretarial, and custodial staff, as well as the district's maintenance personnel who have helped with the organization of this event. I personally would like to thank Mrs. Nomia Cullen and all the ND staff who have volunteered their time the past few days to ensure a successful production of tonight's event. I'd also like to pass on a thank you to our many student volunteers who assisted with the setup and will be back to take down tomorrow morning. You too demonstrate the admirable characteristics and a pride associated with being a North Delta Husky. Thank you. <laughs> Mrs. Rosardo and the platform party will now lead the recessional out of the gymnasium. Graduates, will you please follow Mrs. Rosardo one last time as we exit down the red carpet, row by row. Parents, please remain seated until all the graduates have left the gymnasium. Thank you again for your support, not only tonight, but throughout the lives of these young people. Please feel free to join the graduates in the foyer and take photographs. Thank you, congratulations, good night, and be well.
DJ Arsenal.